Now we have the next lesson, which is the Hull abstraction layer, which will we will be talk about the library itself, which we found in the repository, and we will talk how the library is built and how to work with this library to understand what is necessary, what not, where to find the functions. Now, the main concept, we will be talking only about the Hull abstraction layer, which is used for the, all of the examples, which we talk uh, later. And it's the layer between the main drivers for the microcontrollers. This layer works with the registers, handle everything for us. We only need to learn how to use these functions, what to call, and where to find these functions. The library is written in C. We have the Gamma Tech uh, Analysis tool for the checking the, the static static code analysis. We using uh, the code Sonar C. And definitely we have the PDF manual which is based on the Doxygen. In case that you want to look in this manual, it's in our repository package in the driver for folder. I will show you where to find this uh, library, this help file. Okay, the help file or the documentation is in the repository. We select the, our package of the library which we want. In my case, it's the F4 and the version dot one dot eleven dot zero and here in the drivers we found our HL driver then we go inside and here are the manuals they are uh, versions for each each uh, line in our family then in my case it will be F401 which is not here them. It's strange because it should be here. Okay, we will look now for the 411. Then I will discover what where is the 401. Okay, here is my help file. Yes, and you can you can look into modules, into the peripheral which you desire, and see what is what is the description. For example, from the ADC, which are the functions for the initialization and the deinitialization. What is the type def of this of this handler? About this we will talk a little, little bit later, but the manual is here and you now know how to how to find this this manual. It will be in your QPMX uh, repository. Okay, we talk about where found the documentation. I hope this is this part is clear. Now how the library looks like. This, I think, is the most difficult topic which we faced today. Then I will start with the short overview of the library and we, during next hours, will go deeper and deeper into library to show you how to work with this library, how to find functions, how to find the parameters, what to put inside the functions and how to add the new files into the library, the missing files, in case you want to work with the more pay files, what, what to use and what to not, what to be careful, and how the library work on the end. Okay, the basic overview. Usually we have in the V working in C, 
we have the source files and the include files. In your project, you may mainly use your source codes, in your user user source code C files, and also your user code the header files. They are also files, mainly one file called stm32f4xx underscore it dot c in case that you have the different family, the, the name with the f4 will be different and also related, related header file. Now, these two, these files, your files and this uh, interrupt header file, the underscore it is the file which uh, handling the interrupts. About this I will talk a little bit later. And these two files can or must include the, the library. The library include is done only with the one file and this is the stm32f4x6 underscore hl dot h. You need only include this one file into your user code and in the stm32f4x6 underscore it it's done automatically is generated with the cube mix. Only you need to add include into the STM32 how into into your code. You can see there is also some source code uh, source files mainly for each each payfay. They also include the hl.h. There is some configuration files the payfail header files and some definitions of the of the registers and also of the of of the types and on the bottom there are some cmc's files which are usually uh, copied with the core some system uh, system initialization stepped up file and the basic header file the most basic header file which includes all which contains all the registers which we have inside the stm32 the stm32 f4 but for you it's only necessary to include stm32 f4 x6 underscore hl underscore h uh, dot h okay now it looks very very complicated <laughs> But don't worry, it's not, not so difficult. Now, we can look also into our first project, which we generate in the CubeMX, which is the, the GPO toggle. I think it's a good example to compare it with, with our, our code to see where you can find these files. Okay, I have here my GPL, GPL toggle example now opened in the system system workbench from AC6. On the IDE now doesn't matter. It will be very, very similar. Okay, we have here our GPL pin toggle, but this is for now not important. If you look here on the top, you can see we are including the basic stm32 f4 underscore hl dot h this is all which you need to add into your c file into your main dot c to allow you to work with this library this is everything for you you only need to add this this include file i also talked about about the interrupt if you if you will search here in the application you shall have the user folder we have main.c you can see there is more files files you can we can look in the it.c and we can see we have here also stm32 f4x6 underscore hl.h this is only file which is necessary to have here to allow us to work with the library in case that we want to here write our user code if not everything is okay you can also see here the stm32f4x6.h this file is not necessary and it's not necessary to use use this file here 
definitely the header file from the from the interrupts it's it's necessary now we have the the our user code we, and we have the halt halt drivers and also the cmc library here on this slide it's only description which part belongs to to which uh, which part of our library our user code is mainly the main.c the stm32 f4xx underscore it.c and there is the stm32 f4xx underscore hl underscore msp dot c which is the microcontroller support package about about this file we will talk a little bit later in the hl drivers is usually in the section which belongs into into the driver they are usually only the drivers which uh, from the pay files which we are using because we have the gpo now that will be gpo the flash which must be always present because we all the time using the flash it can be the ma it can be the power system it can be the clock reset and the clock control and definitely the core core also and this files must be there and the last part is the cmcs cmcs files must be also present there is the startup file which is called called in the in the during the startup and there is also the system file for the stm 32 f 4 where is the basic initialization and the deinitialization about this this files we will talk a little bit a little bit later yes main.c where the codes mainly begins interrupts contains interrupt handlers nothing new memory support package i i talk about this before this i let a little bit for for the later okay now we will look on the part of the drivers now something uh, small about the drivers and difference between the drivers and the reference manual. Sometimes in the drivers you can found some peripherals which are not directly inside the reference manual. For exam, very good example is the USART. You can found in the our reference manual the USART. In the USART uh, description in the reference manual you found that the USART can work as the UART can work at the USART, the synchronous UART can work as the ERDA and also can work as the smart card I think this is, this is uh, very clear but in the, in the HL library we try to, to a little bit separate this functionality because each each functionality always use the USART, for example the IRDA, but we write for this the specific uh, HL HL API. Then uh, don't don't be scared if you find the IRDA driver that it's not in the reference manual. It's only the sub function of the of the USART, but it's called the IRDA. Uh, something which is different, which is different from the previous uh, libraries which we had, it's that we try to create the, this uh, HL library, this hardware abstraction layer API, to be more universal on the on the each uh, each for each family, to allow you use only one API to work on the multiple multiple devices. Uh, usually the common common uh, pay files which have all these families using the all API but 
there is only one one remark usually the clock system is completely different on each each family then this is only part which you need definitely very deeply to check and to adapt on on your new new family which is the rcc the the ip which is the reset and the clock control Yes, I think this is this is the same slide. Yes, the extension extension files. Some some uh, libraries or the C files from the IP have some extension extension shortcut called the name of the of the library underscore x on the end. You have the one variant without the X and then second with the X. What this mean? This mean that, for example, this functionality is extension from the other, other, other in if we compare it with the other families. Uh, here is example that this this. Uh, the AP, uh, AP was not before on the other uh, L, uh, F4 families. Like for the flash, it was the PC PCR protection feature, was not before on the F4 4 family. And with the STM32 F429, we added this feature. Then for us, what not, uh, it was not common common periphery, not, not common feature on the STM32, then we not put it into the flash.c, but we put it in the flash underscore x and dot c to different that this this feature can be unique only on the one one particular part in the in the family. Yeah, here we can found it into into our project. If you look, if you have the F4, you can found the the flash driver dot C, which uh, have the basic functionality for to unlock the flash, lock the flash, erase the flash, program the flash. But in the flash underscore x dot C, you will found the specific API for this this cells type which is usually to enable the PCR in this case. Okay, the second reason when we putting the X that this feature is completely different from the other families, not only inside the for example F4, but this functionality is completely new and it's not, for example, on the F1 or on the F3. Then this is also reason where we putting the X. On the F4 family, it's usually the RCC, the reset and uh, clock control. When we add some some more functionalities into into this AP, which is unique for the F4 family, and it was not before on the F3 family. Okay, and the last part is not that we adding the underscore X, but we adding the the new, completely new IP. Then we also add the completely new uh, driver driver file. Example is here the LTDC controller, which is the the. Let TFT control for the TFT displays, which is start with the STM32 F429. The previous devices don't have this feature, but it's completely new IP. Then for this, we not create the X file, we create the completely completely new driver driver file. Yes, and something to work in your project. To work with, with the library, you need to check in, if in your preprocessor is set to use underscore HL underscore driver. This definition must be there. If not, then you definitely 
not include the library not includes the files it will be blocked you get the error message that you cannot use the the hl hl library and second part which needs to be defined is which microcontroller are you using if you use the different one you need also the use the different different microcontrollers because also in the in the library can be small differences between the source types and you need to specify which source types do which source type do you have we look on this in the in the project file again